Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a professional ink slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using a single plugin. We will not only create one slide, but I will also show you how to create multiple slides and create a complete slideshow from scratch. Now before we start this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and tell you guys about an amazing application called Wondershare Demo Creator. Anyone can start using Demo Creator easily and quickly even with zero editing skills and one of the most impressive feature is the AI Virtual Human. With this feature, you can create a virtual avatar video that talks and mimic your facial expression in real time. Head on to Wondershare Demo Creator website and download the program and connect your webcam and microphone to your PC. After you install the program and open it, you can see a virtual human panel in the application. All you have to do is open this up. Now click on the avatar icon to browse and select the avatar you want. After selecting the avatar, you can select the background you prefer and click on the red icon to start recording. During recording, Demo Creator tracks your movement with machine learning. Once you finish your video, you can fast export your video or re-record it. Or if you want to make future adjustments, you can open up the editor. You can add text, overlays, filters, transitions and more. You can even do some modification to your voice. Select your video, go into audio section and there you will find the voice changer. We have some cool different presets to choose from. So right now, this is how my audio sounds like. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com. And now let's apply a child preset and let's see. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com. So pretty cool. Demo Creator has made screen recording and video creation easier for everyone. So I recommend you guys to go ahead and check out Wondershare Demo Creator by clicking on the first link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and before we start creating something, the first thing that we will do is create a proper folder structure so that we can be organized. So I'm going to click right over here to create a new folder and let's call this edit comps. Alright, and inside this I'm going to create a new folder called this media. Alright. Let's select this again, create a new folder called this titles and one more new folder called this scenes. All right, then let's create a new folder outside called this ink comps. And actually let's put this inside edit comps as well. Okay, that is good. Now let's create a new composition, which is going to be our main render comp. I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080, 25 FPS and 30, 30 seconds long. Call this render as a main render comp. Hit OK. Then let's create a new composition. This is going to be our scene comp. So I'm going to call this SC underscore zero one. Then let's create another composition called this ink underscore zero one. Let's call, let's create one more new comp call this title underscore zero one. And then let's create a new composition again called this ink mat underscore zero one. Let's put the title composition into the titles folder, scene composition into the scenes folder, ink composition inside the ink, ink comps, ink mat into the ink comps. And one more new composition, which is going to be our media. So I'm going to call this MD. Oh, M D underscore zero one. All right. And put this inside the media composition. So let's open the MD. That is the media comp. And here I have a few assets, which you will get inside the free project file. So here I have an image that I will be using. So let's use this image that I have of a dog. I'm going to scale that down and make sure it fits the complete frame properly. All right, then let's go into the ink 01 composition and drag and drop the ink footage that I have. 
and below this layer i'm going to drag the md that is the media composition of our image and change the track mat of this to luma inverted now if you don't see the track mat options you can hit f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible so basically we have created a transparent background with the ink and the image pretty awesome now let's select the ink footage go into fix and preset and search for sharpen effect and let's increase this to around 15 percent then copy this ink footage hit ctrl c to copy it and paste it in the ink mat 01 hit ctrl v make sure it's visible so here we have it and then i'm going to go again into inside of effects and preset and search for invert effect let's drag and drop it on the ink one there we go and then hit ctrl y to create a new solid make sure the color is set to white hit ok put this below and change the track mat of this to luma mat so now we have extracted the white ink from the background now let's go into the scene one composition and let's close this asset comp and i'm going to open up all the comps that we have created here first of all drag and drop in the ink matte composition so we have this really nice reveal all right on top of that i'm going to dra drag and drop in the ink one let's move this a few frames forward in time so we have something like this now I'm going to jump into the ink mat again and let's scale up this animation. So hit S and scale this by around 150% and also I'm going to rotate this. So hit R and let's rotate it by 180 degrees. Now let's go back. So now we should have this really nice reveal which looks pretty awesome. Let's duplicate the ink one hit control D and move this a few frames forward go into effects and preset and search for tint effect double click to add that up and hit s and scale this up by around 120 or 125 should be fine now let's create a new adjustment layer i'm going to call this optics go into effects and preset and search for optics compensation double click to apply that let's reverse the lens distortion go at the very start create a keyframe on the field of view i'll go at around 10 seconds and set this to 75. so now when we preview this animation you can see we get a very subtle optics distortion which looks very nice pretty awesome i think i'm gonna increase this to 85. okay so that's nice let's create another adjustment layer called this transform go into effects and preset and search for transform go at the very start create a keyframe on the scale property go to 10 seconds and set this to 110 so now let's preview this and yep i think it's looking pretty nice now here i'm using a footage but you can also use a video it would look much better with a video i think all right then let's drag and drop in the title composition below the optics and all the adjustment layer move this a few frames forward jump into the title comp and let's create a title so i'm going to select the text tool type in ink reveal all right align this into the center select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it put this below and call this slideshow you can of course type in any text that you want so i'm going to select the first one and i'm using the nexa font here i think it looks pretty good with this and yeah let's select this align this properly in the center and then i'm going to go at around uh, two seconds select both of these layers hit p to bring down the position property create a keyframe hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe right there hit u so we can see all the keyframes go back and let's move this up and let's move this down 
and bring down the opacity to zero. Then let's select all the keyframe, right click keyframe assistant easy ease. Go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. Select this point, hold shift and drag this. So now we have a very nice text animation. Then go back and now we have this really nice text reveal as you can see. But I'm going to keep this very small. So I'm going to make this smaller like that and place this somewhere around there. So now here we have our first scene, which is ready. Looking pretty nice. So this is how you will build up every scene. Now you don't need to create everything from scratch. I'm going to show you how you can duplicate and create multiple scenes and create a complete slideshow. So let's go into the render composition. All right. Drag and drop in the scene one. There we go. So there we have a scene one. And let's create a new adjustment layer first of all. Call the CC. And the first effect that I'm going to use is curves effect to enhance the colors. Just making a bit more punchy with the contrast. And then I will add some noise on this. So search for noise and there we go. Let's add a noise of around 4% should be fine. And then I will be adding some light leaks that I have here. So here I have my light leak, drag and drop it. Set the blending mode to screen. And now we have this very nice light leak, which is pretty intense. I'm going to hit T and bring that down. So let's keep it at somewhere on 35% should be fine then i'm going to go right over here create a keyframe on the opacity go back and set this to zero so now we have something like this maybe a bit more forward in time i think yeah so that is looking pretty nice and on top of that i will also add an animated grunge overlay that i have here let's bring that down just like that and bring down the opacity of this to around 60 percent so now if I preview this, you can see we have a little bit of grunge overlay, which looks pretty nice. And on the light leaks, again, I'm going to add some noise just so that we can get rid of the color bendings. Um, you can also switch to 16 bits. So hold alt and switch to 16 bits. It's going to make the comp a bit heavy, but you will get rid of any kind of color bendings. Pretty nice. So as for the tutorial, I'm going to just switch this back to 8, 8 BPC while rendering. I'll switch this back to 16 BPC. So now let me show you how to duplicate or create multiple comps. Now the best way here and the way I use for my all templates and stuff like that, I select my scene 01. That is the scene one, obviously. And I use a script called true comp duplicator. This script helps you to duplicate the composition but it also duplicates every other composition inside that particular comp. So let's say if you don't want to use the script, by the way, this is a paid script. I have mentioned the link in the description. So if you want, you can go ahead and purchase it. But in case if you don't want to purchase it, close this up and here we have the scene one. So what I have to do is duplicate the scene one, hit control D. So we have scene two, duplicate the title, hit control D. So we have title two, duplicate the media, duplicate the ink mat and the ink. And then let's drag and drop the scene to right over here. So let's set this to somewhere on six seconds. Place it. Go into that. Replace the title one with the title two. So hold alt and just drag and drop it. Replace the ink one with the ink two. This should be two actually. Just like so. And then ink mat one with ink mat two jump into the ink mat 2 and then replace it with another ink footage that I have. So I'm going to select this, replace this just like so. Let's jump to the ink 2, replace this with ink 2. So this is a bit tedious process then replace the media 1 with uh, media 2 that we created. So as I said, it's a bit tedious process. So I highly recommend if you want to create a complete slideshow for templates or to sell them online it's good to use the true comp duplicator so let's use another image that i have here so if i now go into the scene two we have this really nice animation 
let's also um, change the way it looks so I'm gonna hit R and rotate this back to zero actually also one more thing that I want to change is the title so I'm gonna call this some let's call this something different like elegant animations and now if I go back into my into my main render com, there we have our second scene getting revealed. And what I'm going to do is uh, let's animate the opacity of this one. So hit T, create a keyframe, go to 10 seconds and set this to zero. So now we have the scene one and then we have the scene two. And obviously I can change the title position so I can place it somewhere around here and you can use n number of ink footages I will mention a link in the description from where you can go ahead and um, download free ink footages so as you can see it looks pretty awesome So this is how you can create this cool looking ink slideshow animation inside of After Effects using some very simple and easy techniques. So that is a wrap for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new here and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions. I have all the links in the description below and if you are feeling generous please do support us on Patreon. Again, all the links are in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.